All right, I'm excited for this video for a couple of reasons. Number one, we've got some new gaming stuff. Number two, this is my first video since my channel was monetized. Got the notification this morning and the channel is now monetized. I couldn't be more excited about that. This is a, something I've wanted to do for a long time. Took 11 months and I got it done. Uh, I appreciate everybody who watches these videos. And, uh, you know, thanks for tuning in. Just keep watching the videos. They'll get better and better as, uh, as time passes and I get more experience. But for today, we've got two things that I want to do an unboxing video on that I'm very excited about. First, I've got a Black Elite controller. Now, the reason I purchased this, I've got the Halo Elite version, but uh, I'm not a big fan of the gold in that controller and I understand why they did the gold because it's Halo colors. But I always thought that, that controller looks really good and it would be better if it was black. So I bought a black one and I've, I've never really used an Elite controller as my everyday controller. That, that controller gave me the itch and I know that this isn't really a new controller. So why do a video on it? <laughs> and I figured I would throw it in with this, other video, with this other controller that I'm about to unveil. So we're going to set that to the side for right this second and we're going to go 20th anniversary controller. I wasn't even aware that these were out yet literally like i heard the controller was coming i'm about two weeks late i missed the boat on this one i'm not sure what happened but i got a 20th anniversary controller i got the last one that gamestop had and all i was there for was the elite controller so we're going to unbox both controllers in one video and uh, you'll get my reaction for having both controllers now being that this is the new controller and this is the primary reason for doing this video i'm going to open the elite controller first we're going to save this one for last and we're going to start off with this Elite controller. If you're familiar with my videos at all, you'll know that uh, I collect these Xbox controllers. I absolutely love Xbox controllers. I, I like to buy all the colors available and I collect them, even the ones that I don't particularly care for. But I've never had a, uh, an Elite controller as my daily driver and that's going to change here. So let's get this thing opened up. I expect it to be fairly similar to the, uh, X, to the Halo one that I opened up, except for the colors. And I, on the Xbox One, I never had an Elite controller. I never really saw the point until I got the, the Halo one. And now I'm super excited to have an all black one, or black and gray if you want to call it that. All right, inside the box comes the controller and this nice little pouch, carrying case, whatever you want to call it. If you pull the box open inside, probably gonna be, if I had to guess, some kind of Game Pass code and a book. Oh, no, no Game Pass code. That's kind of strange. They put, them, they put them in all the standard controllers, but not the Elite controller. And the book is not really anything but a manual. All right, so they put this over to the side. Also got a braided nylon USB type C cable. Uh, I like uh, these braided nylon cables. Uh, I sell cell phones for a living and uh, we, we used to get these uh, braided nylon iPhone cables and they hold up a lot better than your standard rubber cables. Uh, this is USB type C on one end and standard USB on the other end, whatever they call that, I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's put all this stuff over to the side. We get to the controller itself. Very excited about this. I, I, I have the Halo controller on display. I, I don't use it. So this one is gonna be used for sure. Oh yes, yes, yes. All right. As you see here, you have the controller with the, I like to say polygon, but I don't know if that's the right terminology. The directional pad. This is customizable. You can pull that off and put the, this one in there, which is probably what I'll end up doing. And I always said the Series X controllers look like a cheap version of the Elite controller. And I was sitting sitting around the other day and I was like, you know what? I have the, the Series X controllers. Why not just get an Elite controller? And that's, that gave me the itch. And when I went to GameStop to pick up, a, pick up an Elite controller, I found the 20th anniversary controller and I bought them both. So you got black joysticks, black and gray buttons, like a metallic gunmetal gray bumpers. This is a perfect controller. Also inside the box, you've got 
different joystick ends. I like the way these are customizable. You got your D-pad, which I'll, I'll probably, a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do it. Pop that off. Put the D-pad on there. I like the D-pad like that better. You got different types of joystick ends, so that's cool. I like the case too, and like I said, this is probably going to become my daily driver. I'm probably going to go ahead and get another one for my house. I have two Xbox Series X's, one's at home and one's at my shop for so I can game wherever. And I'll probably go ahead and grab another one of these for the house um, and just display all the different color controllers in my collection. All right, we're going to set that to the side and get to the main event. Now, I haven't seen this controller in person. I've read about it online, but I didn't follow it very closely. And uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh man, I, I like these translucent controllers and I like the color scheme. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this and I was happy to, that I was able to find it. So let's get into it. All right. Open it up. There it is. Solid, solid controller. Translucent, it has the green. We'll go over all that in detail here in a second. Let's set this over to the side. All right, inside the box, AA batteries. Never have enough AA batteries, unless you buy a play and charge kit. And a manual. So that's about it. That's kind of strange. Every controller I've bought to this date had a Game Pass 14 day trial in it, and they didn't do that for this one. So, all right, box. On the back side of the box, you have two different views of the controller itself on the side you got that this is compatible for the xbox series x xbox one windows 10 android ios and xbox series s so yeah you can use this to play your xbox games on your ios device or your android device as well let's get a closer look at the controller because that the thing is nice all right translucent controller slightly see-through if you don't know what that means uh, i like the green on the home on the power button green and black i like the black buttons uh, i can't there's not a single complaint about this controller um except for the cheap looking d-pad and i've said that about every you know series x controller to this point uh the d-pad just makes it look like a cheap knockoff of an elite controller but this controller is solid and that's my only complaint there's no 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 complaints on that if you've watched my videos before you'll note that i've always complained that these grips are white instead of body colored or at least matched to the body color. This one's green. I like the neon green. I like the look of the controller with the black. Perfect controller. I like the 20th anniversary logo stamped right there on it. Uh, these are hard to find. I paid 70 bucks at GameStop for it yesterday. And uh, the lady said it was the last one they had in stock. And I looked online and these are selling for upwards of $120 on eBay. So uh, good luck finding one of these. Uh, you might stumble on one like I did. Uh, or you might have to pay extra if you want one and, and just have to have one. All right, so what do you guys think of these controllers? Elite controller is almost 200 bucks. 20th anniversary controller is 70 if you can find one at retail. These are the best two looking controllers I've seen thus far from Microsoft of any lineup in my opinion. Um, really, really nice. I, I would like to see Microsoft do one of these, uh, the translucent black with red or blue for that matter. Uh, I guess you have the create a station uh, thing where you can create your own controller. That would be nice to do. I don't know if they offer translucent options on there. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? Are you going to get one of these controllers? Or do you already have one of these controllers? How do you like the way it performs? All that stuff. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that bell so you get notified for all the videos. I appreciate you guys watching, and y'all take it easy.